Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another special edition of the show. I'm here at Max's Wine Dive. Now we're here to right or wrong because I am the mayor on Foursquare yet I have not had some of these food items and, and we're gonna right or wrong here. So I'm here uh, at my favorite place in San Antonio uh, and if you follow me at all, you know I'm here all the time. Um, so I've got uh, Whitney Dietz here, uh, wine sales manager, and uh, Whitney, why don't you tell us a little bit about you first, and then we'll kind of go into the Max's part. Sure. Well, like you said, my name's Whitney, and I have been an avid love of wine for uh, since I was a kid. My parents had a cellar growing up. It just fascinated me. I really liked how they made it so accessible and easy, and that's the one reason that uh, wine has always played a part of my heart. I think that a lot of people get the idea that wine is a pretentious thing, and it really isn't. Everybody can access it. It's super easy and friendly and fun and any price point and that's just kind of thing and I really wanted to take my knowledge and my skills and really teach people how easy it is and how fun it can be. So um, so that was what brought you here to Max's, right? Absolutely, yes. Actually, they actually came after me, believe it or not. Nice. Because my good friend Alex used to work here at Max's. She's over at our sister restaurant now. But I was uh, actually, like you, always here. So. They kind of, one thing led to another, and when Alex left, they thought, well, who could we have to replace her in terms of personality and love of wine, and I was the natural candidate, and here I am. I, and I can tell you that, that <laughs> Max's has done a great job. Uh, I've been coming here for a long time, and uh, first time I met you, I was like, perfect. It was like, oh, yeah. I was like, this is awesome. So that's also one reason why, <laughs> when we were setting this up, they were asking me who I wanted, you were, I was like, well, I'd like to have Whitney on the show, so. I'm so, uh, I'm so pleased, thank you very much. I'm so privileged. Um, all right, so now let's talk about, well, kind of let's talk about Max's. So for people sure. who are not from San Antonio, because this really is an international show, by the way, um, let's talk about Max's and what their philosophy is. Sure, well, Max's was actually started by our CEO, Jerry Lasco, and he actually used to be a pilot, and his passion, same kind of thing. It was just kind of a thing that he did on the side. Uh, he really was into wine, and then, Obviously, once things kind of went downhill for the airlines, he thought, you know what, I'm going to go after my dream and open a restaurant. So he opened a restaurant in Houston, Max's in Houston, and sooner the concept just took off. He wanted it to be kind of just simple, really good comfort food, good wine. His whole concept is a, you know, a wine-friendly, wine-forward restaurant with a real easy, laid-back vibe, which is why you see our slogan, fried chicken and champagne, why the hell not? <laughs> right. Pretty laid-back, you know, so, and just that, and like I said, he wanted to make wine easy and accessible for everybody, so right. that's kind of where the concept came from, and it's just exploded, you know. It's, we have four Maxes now, and the food is fantastic, and we just keep on going up and up, so it's a great concept. All right, and then um, on menu, uh, you have you have the standard menu, and then you have seasonal menus, right? Absolutely, yes. That rotates uh, quarterly for the seasons, and each chef to each restaurant gets a chance to plan their own seasonal menu. So there's a lot of scratch kitchen, fresh ingredients. You know, the ideas of our, our brilliant chefs. It's a really cool concept as right. well. And then you have like specials uh, throughout the month. Not every day, but you have specials that occasionally, right? Uh, yeah, most of the time, most day nights, the chefs will come up with something cool. They'll right. bring in different ingredients that we don't really use, and just you know, put a, their own spin on it. And they're just—they've been wildly popular. So like we, I had uh, the the baked Alaska Saturday, right? That was legit. That <laughs> serious dessert. That was good stuff. I I've never had a baked Alaska. Matter of fact, and uh, I was talking with somebody at the bar and. And he was in the same thing. He was like, I, I thought it was some seafood dish. I was thinking Alaskan <laughs> king, king crab, right? So I thought it was baked Alaskan crab is what I really thought it was. And um, and, and, and a bartender had asked me if I liked it. And I was like, it's interesting. <laughs> Whether it means you didn't like it. I was like, this didn't like it. It's just that um, it was good. It was good, but it was it was something that I, I'm I, I, I need to have more of. Well, we got to get you branching <laughs> out. Obviously, that's why we're here today. And that's why we're here. So. Mm -hmm. 
Let's talk about let's talk about first the fried chicken and champagne. Yes, that is a classic pairing. Obviously, one of our signatures. We're known for our fried chicken. It's on our our awning outside. It's on our T-shirts. You know, it's something we push. The whole concept behind the fried chicken and champagne. It's a really weird amalgamation of two things. The champagne always has that kind of fancy French vibe to it, and fried chicken obviously is comfort food for most right. of us. Now ours is a little different. Our fried chicken's not gonna be what you're gonna find at Popeyes or churches, of course. It's very special and very unique and delicious, and people come from different cities to try the fried chicken. So the whole concept is the fried chicken and the champagne, what the champagne actually does, the bubbles actually bring out the nice kind of hearty greasiness of the chicken and they complement each other really well. It's one of those really strange things that people never think are gonna work and it just, it works fantastically together. So it's just one of those things. And I can tell you, I've seen, I've seen the fried chicken. I know why I have not had it. Um, it's just, I, there's so much other stuff on the menu that I, I, I just tend to gravitate towards. Um, I've seen the fried chicken before and I, every time I see it, I go, man, I should have this stuff. And, and then I'm like, well, I'm gonna have this instead, um, which we're gonna get to one of those items here. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, with the fried chicken, it's something that once we figured out that I hadn't had it yet, then I wanted it, and then I was like, for about a month, we've been working on this, and I'm like, don't order the fried chicken, because now we want it to be like a first time thing. I agree, I know, I'm excited. I'm excited to experience your first run at the fried chicken. Hey, that's, that's how I roll, I mean, I mean, it's always something new. And, and, and you know, I mean, every time I walk in here, um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell, tell you, I'll tell the bartender, you know, what, what's new, what do you have new, because I, I tend to not drink the same wine twice. And that's the great thing about us, you know, we're constantly rotating our menu. I have 146 different labels right now and I'm making room for new stuff. There's always something new around here. And you've got some Texas stuff too, right? Absolutely. Bending Branch is a local winery and we feature a lot of their wine. So we like to keep it in the Texas family. If yeah, we can. and I've, I've had, I've had the Pickpool Blanc is wonderful. If you've never had that, it, it, you should have that. I mean, it's, it's actually one of the wines, you know, one of those Texas wines are like, oh, that's a Texas wine. No, this is good wine. It's yeah. not just a Texas wine. So. Texans can do things pretty good, I, you know, I've come to realize, so, yeah. yeah. You, you weren't born here, right? California. Yeah, I wasn't born here either, that's okay. <laughs> hey, but we're here now. <laughs> All right, so let's let's check out this fried chicken. Okay. All right, so you've got, uh, besides the fried chicken, you've got, uh, what, some mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes and collard greens. And collard all made, greens. All made in-house, fresh every single day. And a little Texas, Texas toast. toast. Gotta Texas do it. Texas toast, all right, so <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna grab, we're gonna grab this here, and this is, now, how is this, uh, the, the breading. It's buttermilk jalapeno. Buttermilk jalapeno, it's so. To, I'm telling you, I can't wait to see A it. nice little kick here, right? Yeah. All right. Are you serious? <laughs> this is good stuff. It is better than churches and Kentucky Fried Chicken and Popeyes. And, oh, I've never had a Popeyes, by the way. I love it. I love that jalapeno breading. I love spicy stuff. And of course you got I think you're looking good. Oh wait, did somebody <laughs> steal that? Oh, someone stole that. I don't right. think we can put that on our t-shirt. That's right. All right so now let's pair Try it with, with the champagne, yep. right? And Mark's drinking our Prodige. It's one of our go-to bubbles. Everybody loves it. It's real good classic oh my French God. champagne. I, I don't know if I've had this before. I may have had this before. But this is, actually I think I have and I've, I've had it and I love this stuff. It's got a great fruitiness to it too. Mm -hmm. It's a great champagne. It's not just that that type of bakery pastry um, uh, stuff you get from a champagne. It's it's got a nice, nice, ap yeah, appley, but also felt like it was more like I feel like some orange out of it. Yeah, I found I felt like I had some type of orange, maybe worth the pairing rather than straight that, but some great fruit on this, so it helps really kill, uh, with the heat. It does, yeah, that's the other good thing. I mean, it's just one of those things. When I pair wine, I like to do kind of the opposite ends of the spectrum, just kind of how our taste buds function the best, which is why you'll see as we go through, I'm more of an opposite to track kind of girl. Okay, so yeah, that's something that um, I've, I've touched upon every once in a while is pairing with food and wine. You can do the complimentary or contrasting. Absolutely. You like to do the contrasting. I'm a contrast kind of person, yin and yang, all the day, so yes. I'll go either way. Oh, wait a minute. Not the wine and the pairing. Anyway, <laughs> I, I think my viewers know that, that I, I will either do complimentary or contrasting. I tend to do complimentary more than contrasting, but I like well, good. contrasting pairing because there is it's interesting, and that's what I'm looking for. I look Staring for it up interesting. Today. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't come to Max's all the time if it wasn't interesting. Because I'll tell you, I've been that's to, true. it's not to slam any other wine bars I've been to, either in San Antonio or elsewhere in the country. 
but there's just, there's a certain vibe that happens at Max's, and I've been at two Max's, so it's not just this one. I've been at the Austin one. Nice. I mean, Austin's Austin. I mean, come of on. Course. But um, there's a certain vibe you get from here versus any other any other uh, wine bar that I've been to. Well, I mean, that's kind of the reason we have the word dive in our name. We just we don't want to make it stuffy or hoity toity. We want to invite everybody in, give it a go. I mean, right. we have every anything on our menu you can think of from sweet wines, dessert wines. Bubbles, heavy reds, it, something for everyone. Right, right. Now I'm gonna try some collard greens. I don't. I think I've maybe had these like once in my life. Yeah, they're pretty. So good I'll, I'll figure this one out. It's actually kind of good. Mhm. Mm they are good. I like them. They have a bad rap, but they do. The way that the chef makes them here, they're pretty darn delicious. I don't think you can lose either way. I mean, the whole plate is just on top and even that works right because you, know, you yep. get guess the vegetal and just this the the fruit and that's really good i like that i like that so now next time I, well maybe not next time i come in because i might be coming <laughs> in but just for reference we're recording this a couple days before valentine's day even though you're oh, seeing true. this about two weeks after valentine's day or three weeks um i might be coming in for your valentine's oh yeah uh, thing on, on over the weekend so um maybe the after that i'll have this but now All right. we gotta try these peppers, right? Yes, another one of our staples. They became super popular. It's a pabano pepper with stuffed pulled pork, and then right. the sauces are going to be there's a chimichurri on top, which is my absolute favorite, and then a spicy remoulade down on the bottom there. Right, and now we're gonna do. Prosecco. I know why I reached for that because I, I keep. <laughs> you want the red? <laughs> yeah, because wait till we get to this pairing, okay? All right, You're so biased. we're doing we're doing the prosecco. Pulled pork, peppers, and Prosecco, which is another one of our slogans on one of our t-shirts. So we're kind of going classic Max's here. Right. But um, same kind of thing. The heat is going to balance the nice fruit forwardness of the Prosecco. Now our Prosecco is La Marca, and Prosecco is an Italian sparkling wine. It's basically what that is. Similar to Champagne, but you know, the Italian's version. Right. Italian's rule, by the way. Did I tell For you sure. that? All right, so, wait a minute. Did I get any pepper out of that? I think, there you go. I don't know. Get, get some pepper there. out of this. All of it. Gotta get the whole thing. All right, so we got some pepper, we got some pulled pork, we got some chimichurri, and then what, what was the other thing we've got Spicy on here? Spicy remoulade down below. So you're gonna get a nice little kick oh, to this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think he's a believer. Okay, first of all, <laughs> here's the reason why I haven't ordered these. I viewed them as like a popper. They're not a popper, obviously. Not even close. Nothing wrong with jalapeno poppers. I know these aren't jalapeno, but nothing wrong with those types of uh, food. But I tend to be like, ah, I'd rather have something else. So yeah, another thing I'm gonna have to have. Well, it's one of those things. I get people, yeah, I get people in here all the time. <laughs> they're like, I don't like peppers, and I have to say, you know what? Just give it a chance. You gotta try them at least once. They are just the way that they're cooked and prepared. There's nothing. Right. There's nothing like it. And I like peppers. I love peppers. I just kind of just poppers are just the time. It's one of those textural things or how things feel in your mouth type sure. of thing that I'm kind of like, ah, I'd rather have peppers in a different way, you know? Sure. But um, so we're gonna do the Prosecco with that. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had the Prosecco before, but I mean- The with, pairing. With the pairing. Yeah. And with the, with the remoulade and the chimichurri, really, and the pepper, like it really complements both. Well, and the thing about it is, I think people, you know, um, they're a little scared. I, I, the pairings are my my favorite part about this because wine tastes different with food. I mean, there's a lot of things you can drink on your own. But one of the greatest things about coming to a place with great food and great wine, you get that ex that whole roundabout experience. Uh, I know you were talking about our Valentine's. I did a wine pairing with all of the the four course meal that chef it, with each course. So I mean. It's just a really cool thing. I think people are really getting into it more, and Max's is definitely one of those places that will help you out. And it's great for people to do their own pairings that come in all the time, like you. Right. I'm sure you know when we talked about what we'll talk about next. Mm -hmm. You had some of your own input as well, so it's it's pretty cool. It's a interactive environment. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, we'll talk about what what wines did you pick for the Valentine's thing. I know it's in the past yeah. as far as people are watching this, but let's talk anyway, about why not? your philosophy on that. Um, I did a kind of similar thing. Uh, we have a boar pork chop and some lobster on our menu, and I picked some of our favorite Discovery and Selection wines that Max's is known for, kind of our real special ones, just because I, I really feel like they need to be highlighted more. 
But I did a similar thing. I actually went both ways. I did a, con a, a contrast with the lobster. I did a nice big bold zin. Okay. The sweetness of the lobster and that spiciness of the zin. But then I also paired the boar with something that was, you know, heavy meat red as well. Um, I did a cab. So, you know, it's one of those things. You can go both ways. And I wanted to, people to see how, you know, like you, you're normally a compare. I'm normally a contrast. But we have to learn to survive right. together <laughs> in harmony. So I did a little bit of both on the menu. So hopefully, I mean, I tasted it. It tastes great to me, but I'm a little biased. Well, hey, I mean, it works out well. I'm looking forward to trying this out. Absolutely. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to end up having the boar because I'm not a seafood guy. Nice. But, you know, just the thought of that lobster in Zen seems really intriguing. I thought so. so. We'll see. We'll see. I, I tasted it. I thought it tasted great. We'll see what everybody else thinks. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so now let's move on to the piece Chili Mac, resistance. right? Here we go. Chili Mac. Now, Christian, this is for you. Yeah, you got another <laughs> shout out. You know, I have a good friend named Christian Torres. Um, he's in a band called A Day Like No Other, by the way. There you go. I gave you a plug for that. Um, he was with me for my birthday and he fell in love with this Chili Mac because we it was like the reverse happy hour stuff. It's is this is during regular happy hour too or just regular reverse? Regular happy hour okay. and reverse, yes. And But the thing is, is, we cater to everybody around here. If you say pretty, please, we'll make it for you whenever. They will. Trust me. They will. <laughs> um, I've nothing crazy, but I've asked for like some things uh, like like a spinach salad. It's sure. like a like a smaller version of spinach salad, and they've always been like, yes, absolutely, because you know what? I'll pair it with bubbles, <laughs> as I've talked about. I see on the Valentine's show talking about bubbles and spinach salad. So this is the salad I've been referencing in that video. Anyway, so we've got your mac and cheese, mm -hmm. not just mac and cheese, but mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the cheeses that are in here. We use Morverde cheese, and then um, on top we have. Um, um, I'm blanking right now. Um, help me out! Is this like Come parm? On, no, it's like Graham? parm. I, no, I'm losing no. it. I'm going crazy here. <laughs> um, it is manchego. That's the word I was looking okay. for. My goodness! And then we have our own in-house pickled jalapenos that Chef does every day. They're and you got to this die for. Great and then chili. The Texas chili. Yeah. Right. And and you can also do the chili in the hot dog. Yes. Yes. Right. So, and this is kind of where the what we're going with the pairing on this. Now, I was in here Saturday night, and uh, I had this, and then I asked, "Hey, just pair something, pair something for me." Yeah. Okay. So I had, uh, you guys gave me two wines to, to think about, mm -hmm. and this is the wine that I decided to go with uh, that day. And this is the Lucky Country Shiraz. Yes, it is. Okay. It's an Australian Shiraz. It is absolutely delicious. It's got that nice fruit forward, which is really going to balance well with the spice of the chili. Right. Uh, again, with the contrast for me, but it worked because he liked it too. So. And and that was something that you know when I. I've already had the item before, so when I had the wine, I already knew what to expect. I started thinking like, how is this wine going to pair with the food? And the other wine, nothing wrong with it, it was actually really good wine. I've had it before, I have actually think I've had it with the uh, Chili Mac. But when I had this wine, I was like, that, that fruit forwardness, really that sweetness is yeah. going to really help with the spiciness. And that's something that you know, I think um, a lot of people still need to remember that you know, when you're having something spicy, having a wine, even if it's not true residual sugar, has that appearance right. uh, of sugar in it, it's going to really help cool down the heat. Absolutely. Because this stuff is hot. It is. Trust it gets to you. Trust me. Yeah. It now, it'll jump up and bite you for sure. I've already had it, but I'm going to have it again because it's just, <laughs> I, I can't just like not have some of this. Oh, I got jalapeno in here too. By the way, if you can hear the music in the background, <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> So the whole side of, whole beach side of Abbey Road is just oh, the best ever. That's another thing. We have great music. So, all in all, good experience. All right, let's see. This as I remembered from Still Saturday. Yeah. Good. Still a winner. <laughs> um, but just, just this, this type of pairing really, you know, get that spiciness. I, I've had the hot dog before. Um, that was that was that was a trip. I hadn't had that. I think. Well, I think the last time I had it, it's just been so long since I had it. But it was wonderful, and I probably even went with, I probably went with the, the traditional pairing that's on the T-shirt. Sure. But the mac and cheese, I mean, this well, is the chili mac is awesome. It's his favorite. The great thing is, I mean, you think, look at all the stuff you ate. I mean, it's all stuff that people are comfortable eating, and who would have thought to put it with a nice glass of wine? That's just one of the great things. Kind of a weird juxtaposition of you know comfort food and wine. Who knew it? Max's knew it, I guess. Max's did, <laughs> and and I think because of how I 
view wine and food pairings and, and I, I, I like the contrasting, I like the complimentary, but I just, because of the attitude that Max's has, that's really why I, I've, I've gravitated towards I really like the place. Um, I mean, it's obvious I'm here approximately once a week. And we enjoy his company. <laughs> it's great. It's one of those things. I mean, it's uh, kind of the other concept, obviously, is keeping people around with big personalities, a lot of fun, remember your taste and your palate and stuff right. like that. It's, a, it's definitely a customized experience each time you come in. And then it keeps our regulars coming around, and they usually are the ones that have the big, bold personalities, too. So it's just That's a right. lot of fun hanging out here. I can tell you that, like especially with the bartenders, um, you know, I walk in and I'll talk to them about pairing stuff. Of course, I've been here enough now. They kind of know what my tastes are, um, and you know, Alex specifically because you know she's here a lot. And I'll I'll say, Alex, give me something you know that's going to pair with this that I haven't had before. And that's one of those things where you know I'm okay. I'm I'm being that guy. Not the guy like, what's good? But it, I just I just watched this video about bartenders and it was freaking hilarious. And I was like, oh, I've done that a couple times. Anyway, um, but she uh, she knows my palate, and so she'll she'll pick stuff that um, she knows will pair well with the item, and she knows that I'll probably like. Absolutely. Um, so and, and and I've even come in here and I'll be like, hey man, give me some blinds, like you know, give me some like tastes. Uh, on blind stuff, working on blind, and I've completely failed them, and I've <laughs> done great. The funny story is, um, I completely missed Chateau Mont Montalena's Chardonnay. Shame on I you! I completely just—I <laughs> don't even think I—I I, I didn't even catch that. I, I probably thought it was a Chardonnay, but yeah. I didn't even catch it was New World. I don't know. I, she just looked at me and said, "I can't believe you missed that." <laughs> well, you know, but that's all right. It's, it's one of those <laughs> things. Never again, I'm sure. Yeah, but I've nailed some other stuff, so. Um, so and, and I think she's been surprised on that too. But this is this is awesome. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and it's just one of those things like, hey, let's just go ahead and, and get together and do the food pairing, uh, stuff, especially stuff I haven't had before. Yeah. And um, it's it's been wonderful. And, and you guys have been absolutely wonderful. You've been very supportive of me and my of website. Of course. Um, so I mean, I want to thank uh, Lasco, uh, the the company uh, in general, and. You know, having, I was in Houston recently, uh, visited the tasting room, nice. everybody there was awesome. Uh, Jamie, who's over here, <laughs> she's awesome, I'm give her a shout out because I mean, she's been, she's been great with, uh, help me with everything as far as uh, stuff with Max's and, and tasting room, so um, it's been great. And I just want to thank you for oh. letting me come in of and spend, spend some time with you and I appreciate bug it. you during the day. <laughs> hey, you made my day. You yeah. make my nights, now you've made my day. So I'm happy. Yeah, I don't come here during the day. I, I, I walked in, honestly, I was like, who, oh, this is a day crew. I was like, day walker, oh no. It's a day crew. <laughs> this yeah. is what we look like in the light. <laughs> the sun. I thought it was going to be a really nasty day. We, I woke up and it was cloudy and I thought, oh, it's going to be horrible. But uh, it turned out to be a beautiful day, by the way. Absolutely. I had the moon roof open. It was awesome. All right, cool. Um, do you have anything you want to like add that maybe we didn't talk about? Or? Uh, come see me. I mean, my yeah. staff, they're extremely knowledgeable. That's one of the things we do. They're not just bright, shiny people. They actually know their stuff. We educate regularly. So if you want any help or if you're scared of wine or anything like that, come see us. We'll take good care of you. They will. They will. Trust me. I mean, they, they've taught me stuff. So, I mean, it, it, there's no way. Nobody can be an absolute wine expert. Of course. You know, uh, it's a learning experience. It, it's, I it's, learn every day, especially yeah. for my staff. Right. From Mark, from everyone. I mean, that's just part of the business. It's the great part about it. Yeah, it's it's something that you, you can never know everything. And I think there's a lot with most subjects, but wine in general, you can't know everything about wine, but you can at least strive to. Absolutely, and it's fun getting there. <laughs> it's always fun. <laughs> it's fun getting there. Well, folks, uh, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, again, I just want to thank Max's. I want to thank Whitney for uh, joining me for a little bit. Um, and as always, you know, click the links, wait, click the links above to friend me up. Click link, click the links below for Max's. Uh, I'll have uh, for all their properties. Uh, we also got the Boiler House here in San yeah, Antonio. New restaurant. Uh, then cool. Houston, we got Tasting Room. Uh, so I'll have I'll have all the links for them below. Leave comments below. And uh, again, thanks for stopping by. We'll see everyone again next time. Thank you.